Hello, this is Brian J, and I'm here to talk about Rings of Power, and I see why Tolkien fans are defending Tolkien, and why they're going to war against the show for bastardizing Tolkien with the Rings of Power, and as an adaptation, it's, it's not an adaptation, it's more of an inspiration. It's inspired by the works of Tolkien, and it's not canon. And, you know, they said that from the beginning, like, three years ago, or during San Diego Comic-Con. I think Tolkien fans would be less angry. Yes, there would be complaints, but if you're saying it's not canon and you're inspired by the works and you're, your story takes place in the Second Age, but you're not adapting things from the Second Age and you're just giving yourself a lot of creative freedom to do what you want, I think fans would be less angry. But the fact is, is that the showrunners are just lying to the fans and they lied at San Diego, Com San Diego Comic-Con when they said they're not going to put any Third Age stuff uh, in the Second Age, which they are. There's a Balrog in this in this first season. The, the Balrogs didn't come back until the Third Age. They were in the First Age with Margoth. And then after Margoth was stopped, destroyed, and sent to another world... Um, the Balrogs went into hiding, deep into hiding, and then they, they didn't, one of them didn't awaken until the third age where <laughs> literally, literally fell from the ring, went so deep into a cave, they accidentally woke, woke one up. But, um, yeah, and they're putting in hobbits, who they say are Harfoots, who are not hobbits, they're ancestors to hobbits. But in Lord of the Rings, they say the Harfoots are hobbits. The, I just read the Silmarillion. There are no hobbits mentioned in the first and second age they had no part and then they tried to say well you you can't have a story without the hobbits but there's already stories without the hobbits tolkien figure that out you don't need the hobbits they're just putting in hobbits to sell the show to people that watch peter jackson's movies so the showrunners are both liars they're full of shit and they're lying to Tolkien fans, and Tolkien fans know it. So I just wanted to point that out. Before the first two episodes premiere in two days, Thursday, Amazon Prime, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to be critical. If, I'm, if there are things I like, I'm going to say there are things I like. If things I don't like, I'm going to say things I don't like. I'm going to point that out. I'm going to be as objective as I can and then give my review. So, yeah, but we know for a fact that the showrunners are lying to the fans. And this is Brian J's Nerd Talk. I'll talk to you all later.